Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about chronic myeloid leukemia, we will discuss about the pathogenesis, the staging and the peripheral blood findings in CML. Going to what is CML? CML is a myeloproliferative disorder and is characterized by predominant proliferation of granulocytic cell. Now why do we use the word predominant? Because uh, CML is a stem cell disorder and the stem cell disorder it can involve any hemopoietic stem cell line but predominantly it affects the granulocytic cell line and it is the most common of all of the myeloproliferative disorders. Now going to the pathogenesis, a very characteristic cytogenetic uh, abnormality seen is known as Philadelphia chromosome. Now what is Philadelphia chromosome? It is a reciprocal translocation between chromosome number 9 and chromosome number 22. Now uh, on the chromosome number 9 there is a gene known as ABL gene and on the chromosome number 22 there is a gene known as BCR gene which is known as breakpoint cluster region. Okay, now there is a reciprocal translocation which leads to formation of a fusion gene known as BCR-ABL gene and this chromosome is known as Philadelphia chromosome. Now this fusion gene is responsible for CML. Now what happens is actually ABL part contains tyrosine kinase expression. Now when it fuses with BCR, it leads to constitutive expression of tyrosine kinase enzyme. Uh, because tyrosine kinase enzyme is not always active when ABL was alone but now there is a fusion gene and now there is constitutive expression of tyrosine kinase enzyme. Now this leads to activation of many signal transduction pathways and it leads to increase in the cellular proliferation, it decreases the apoptosis rate and therefore forms the neoplasm and in this case it's CML. Now going to the clinical features. Now there are uh, three stages in which patient can present. There is a chronic phase, there is accelerated phase and there is blast crisis. We will discuss that in uh, later on. Majority of the patients they present in the chronic phase and the median age is around 50 years. And the patient present with very vague features like weakness, there is weight loss, there is abdominal fullness. And this abdominal fullness is due to splenomegaly. And this is a principal finding on physical examination also, splenomegaly. But splenomegaly can be just palpable to massive. Hepatomegaly can be also seen and many patients, they are asymptomatic and they are detected incidentally uh, via routine blood examination when we find abnormally high level of WBC count. Now going to the stages and the peripheral blood findings. Firstly, the staging, uh, there are three stages. There is chronic, accelerated and blast crisis stage. Mostly patients, uh, they enter into the chronic phase and then they go into the accelerated phase and lastly, they go into the blast crisis phase. Now, what is chronic stage? Chronic stage, uh, in this, the patient symptoms are uh, vague. The, the disease is responsive to chemotherapy and patient is much stable and the duration of this stage is around 3 to 5 years. After this the patient enters into accelerated phase and around 70% of the patients they enter into accelerated phase and here the symptoms are worse and the leukemic cells they will show resistance to the chemotherapy. Then there is blast crisis phase and here the CML is transformed into acute leukemia. There is no more chronic leukemia, it's acute leukemia and the disease is extremely resistant to the chemotherapy and the prognosis is bad in this stage. Now going to the laboratory findings. Going to the laboratory findings, firstly we will discuss the laboratory findings of the chronic phase of the CML the first stage that is the chronic phase. Now in peripheral blood examination firstly we will discuss about the RBCs then the WBCs and then the platelets. So uh, RBCs we find anemia there is normochromic to normocytic anemia. Now WBC series in WBC the TLC count is moderately to markedly raised and is mostly above 1 lakh per cubic mm. Now going to the WBC series firstly you must understand that the uh, hematopoiesis, you must understand about the hematopoiesis, 
uh, that there is myeloblast and from myeloblast there is generation of promyelocyte then there is myelocyte then there is metamyelocyte then there are band cells and lastly there are segmented neutrophils now in case of cml we will find uh, cells from all ranges of maturation uh, but the predominant cell will be myelocyte and uh, the neutrophils the bulge will be of the myelocyte and the blasts will be less in number so all stages of the maturation from the myeloblast to the segmented neutrophils are seen with peaks of myelocytes and segmented neutrophils the blast should be less than 10 percent this is very important now a very characteristic finding of cml is the basophilia because basophilia is seen rarely in any disorder so basophilia presence is very important for diagnosis of cml in case of platelets in this case the platelets they are slightly increased in number now going to the uh, uh, peripheral blood findings we will see in this picture uh, we can see these are the segmented neutrophils we can see these are present now there is some of the promyelocytes we can see there is metamyelocyte there is uh, we can see this is the myelocyte this is the myelocyte we can find they are all ranges of maturation is seen and the blast percentage is less than 10 percent now going to the bone marrow examination in this case the bone marrow examination it shows there is a hypercellular marrow myeloblasts are again less than 10 percent and very important to note that is that marrow aspiration is not required for diagnosis of cml we can diagnose cml on the peripheral blood finding only uh, however marrow aspiration can be used to see the status of fibrosis or if uh, we have to uh, check about the blast percentage that's it now going to other tests which can be done in case of cml first is the nap score now nap score is alkaline phosphatase enzyme this alkaline phosphatase enzyme is present in mature neutrophils band cells and normal nap score is around 4200 now in chronic phase of cml what happens is because the cells are not properly matured the nap score is decreased or absent however in other reaction like leukemoid reaction which is due to infections the nap score will be increased therefore the we can make the differential diagnosis now there is accelerated phase in accelerated phase according to who classification any one of the findings or more of the findings will label the stage into accelerated phase now if there's increased percentage of the blast cell around 10 to 19 percent there is more than 20 percent basophilia there is thrombocytopenia which is unresponsive to therapy or there is persistent thrombocytosis which is not resistant responsive to the therapy there is other like progressive splenomegaly or increase in TLC despite the adequate treatment this will all uh, put the patient into accelerated phase now last is the blast crisis in which the defining feature is presence of blasts which can be which should be more than 20 percent and this is the defining feature and this blast can either be from the myelo series that can be can be myeloblast or it can also be lymphoblast the patient from cml can enter into aml or it can go into all now lastly the treatment we are not discussing this in detail but the treatment mostly comprises of bisulfan, hydroxyurea, also metanib. It is a selective tyrosine kinase inhibitor which is used in chronic phase of CML. A, a treatment which is curative is hemopoietic stem cell transplantation. We are not discussing the treatment in detail. This was all about the video. Uh, do like, share and subscribe to this channel if you like these videos. Do ask any queries. Uh, share any topics you want me to discuss. Thank you for watching this video.